Mediacorp's former home, the Caldecott Broadcast Centre near McRitchie Reservoir in Singapore, it could be turned into nearly 70 new landed houses. The property has been put up for sale by the National Media Network. Real estate consultants say it's in a prime location. For over six decades, this place at Andrew Road was home to Singapore's national media network, Mediacorp, until it moved out five years ago. Nestled among good-class bungalows in Caldecott Hill Estate, the over seven-hectare site is now going up for sale, and it could see 67 two-storey detached homes of about 800 square metres, or so-called junior GCBs, spring up here if approved by authorities. This is a site that is located in a very good residential location. It's located in a uh, GCB zone uh, and it is uh, located on elevated ground. It is in a location that's well connected near to amenities and so forth. In the last 10 years, we have not had a site of this scale that's launched to the market for landed housing. Besides being close to schools, McRitchie Reservoir Park and Caldecott MRT Station, market watchers add there are prospects for the area also because not many new landed homes have been built recently amid growing wealth. While the economic climate may be challenging at this point of time, but what's happening on the backdrop is that you know, there has been a constant rise in overall wealth. On one hand, you have wealth rising. On the other hand, you have limited and in fact non-existent new supply. Um, you know, we think this will work quite well for property developers. With 73 years left on the land lease, an application has been made to top it up to a fresh 99-year tenor. The proposed houses are expected to fetch between 11 and $13 million, compared to freehold GCBs that go for as high as nearly $40 million. It's expected to draw buyers wanting to live in a GCB estate at a fraction of the cost. We also see an increase in the number of locals who are uh, open to buying 99 years uh, properties because um, it, the, the, the difference in price between a 99-year leasehold property and a freehold property can be quite substantial and it does uh, free up their finances or their ability to invest in other forms of investments besides owning a home. It's expected to draw buyers wanting to live in a GCB estate at a fraction of the cost. The estimated value for the proposed bungalow redevelopment is over $400 million. The real estate consultants add that the site could also be turned into a retirement village to serve growing needs if authorities allow. The public tender will close on 9th December this year.